स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट टू चैप्टर नंबर टू लाइफ प्रोसेस इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड इन दिस एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स वी विल सी हाउ द एनर्जी इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द फूड मटेरियल मेजोरिटी ऑफ द आवर फूड कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ दिस कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इज ग्लूकोज नाउ हियर इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ दिस एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन ग्लाइकोलिसिस टेक्स प्लेस वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस ग्लाइकोलिसिस ग्लाइकोस मीन्स ग्लूकोज लाइसिस मीन्स ब्रेक डाउन दैट मीन्स हियर ग्लूकोज इज लाइज डाउन इन टू टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ पायरविक एसिड दिस प्रोसेस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ई एम पी पाथवे दिस नेम इज गिवन आफ्टर एम्बडेन मेरहॉफ पार्नास दिस थ्री साइंटिस्ट डिस्कवर्ड दिस चेन देर फॉर द नेम इज ऑल्सो ई एम पी पाथवे इन दिस द ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल in the cell cytoplasm only undergoes 10 chain reactions and after that the pyruvic acid is formed now we will see the steps like this as this process takes place in the cytoplasm in absence of oxygen it can also be considered as the anaerobic part of the respiration or anaerobic part of the energy production now here glucose is first phosphorylated phosphorylated to glucose 6 phosphate for this phosphorylation one atp molecule that is adenosine triphosphate molecule is utilized and from that three phosphate bonds one of the phosphate is attached to this glucose at carbon atom number 6 glucose is a 6 carbon compound and to this sixth number of the carbon compound one phosphate group is attached therefore there is formation of glucose 6 phosphate now this glucose 6 phosphate is converted into fructose 6 phosphate then this glucose or the fructose 6 phosphate again gets phosphorylated with the help of one atp molecule that means one phosphate group is again attached to this fructose 6 phosphate to form fructose 16 bisphosphate in this process up to this process two molecules of atp are utilized and two adp molecules are formed and the result of this first stage is fructose 16 bisphosphate now this fructose 16 bisphosphate gets split up into two molecules like glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxy acetone phosphate these two substances again undergo next reactions and they will form the further compounds like this we will see only about one thing one product and another product will also undergo the same reactions now we will see about this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate molecule this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate molecule is again phosphorylated with two molecules of phosphate bonds or phosphate therefore there will be formation of 13 bisphosphoglyceric acid here you can know or we can you can understand glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is there that means at carbon atom number 3 phosphate group is attached again to carbon atom number 1 there is phosphate bond is attached or phosphate group is attached therefore now this compound becomes 13 bisphosphoglyceric acid in this process hydrogen molecules are or hydrogen atoms are removed from the compound therefore there will be formation of na2 NADH2 molecule next step is this 13 bisphosphoglyceric acid two molecules 
that means one from this and one from this compound two molecules now from this 13 bisphosphoglyceric acid one of the phosphate group is removed out to attach to the adenosine diphosphate molecule therefore there will be formation of two atp molecules like this therefore the next product will be phosphoglyceric acid two molecules now this three phosphoglyceric acid is converted into two phosphoglyceric acid that means the position of the phosphate phosphate bond or phosphate group is changed these are again two molecules are there and this two phosphoglyceric acid is produced or converted into phosphoenol pyruvic acid by the removal of two molecules of water and then this phosphoenol pyruvic acid is again dephosphorylated that means phosphate group is removed from that to form two atp molecules therefore the last step will be the formation of pyruvic acid again with two molecules now this is the entire process of glycolysis glucose one molecule of glucose with six carbon compound is converted into pyruvic acid two molecules of pyruvic acid each one will have a three carbon chain and this will be the production of the pyruvic acid this is the process of glycolysis in this process we will see what are the products formed in case of the atp molecules first of all two atp molecules are utilized for the phosphorylation process therefore two are used and four molecules are produced here two molecules of atp in this stage and two molecules of atp in this stage four in all four are produced that means two are used and four are produced in all gain is two atp molecules next two pyruvic acid molecules are formed and two nadh2 molecules are formed this is the explanation of glycolysis process thank you